I have a question for you. Okay. And I was <clears throat> wondering how much of YouTube you think is luck versus skill. Um, what do Mr. Beast, Ludwig, and Marcus Brownlee have in common? Millions of subscribers, boats full of money. Yes and yes. But more specifically, they don't believe that their YouTube success has anything to do with luck. Pause the video and post in the comments what percentage you think Mr. Beast chose from the intro. Stay tuned to the end to see what percentage Mr. Beast chose. So the real question is, are they right? Hi, I'm Peter from Creatorcology, helping you to unlock your potential as a content creator. Many people who begin as a content creator post on YouTube and also do streaming. In the beginning, streams sound like the better option. Go live, find people randomly, and get gifted memberships and subs and all that fun stuff. Sounds easy, right? Just kidding, I know it's not that easy. Many people think that YouTube is some sort of lottery. As long as you're uploading a lot of videos, eventually one will hit. However, this isn't actually how this this works. See, YouTube has this thing called an algorithm. The algorithm looks at what content you're making, metrics, and determines where it should be put on YouTube. YouTube uses this system because they know they need a method in order to filter up all the crap content that the rest of us are doing from the amazing content that Marcus Brownlee, Ludwig, Mr. Beast, and others are doing. It wants to put the best content for you in front of you, not the best content for you in front of me. That would not work out too well. But does the algorithm work? And what proof is there? One of my favorite examples of showing exactly how the algorithm works is one of the videos made by Ludwig. He made a video where he started a brand new channel. He wasn't able to use his likeness. He wasn't able to use his voice. He wasn't able to do his main channel or alert anybody or anywhere about what he was doing. He made it completely from scratch. And in a few days, he pulled off the biggest W and got a thousand subscribers. I mean, what? What? Are you serious? That's not even fair. I mean, he used his business sense, his understanding of gig work, Photoshop skills, and some savvy marketing techniques. How come he got a thousand subscribers and we don't? Let's transition to Mr. Beast. Mr. Beast has one of the best YouTube stories by a mile. And there's so many reasons why his story is so awesome and worth looking over by every content creator imaginable. He's really good at explaining how he did it. There's not some secret formula. He gives you all of the answers. You just have to go hunt for them. It certainly wasn't a dart throw. It wasn't a lotto ticket. He and MKBHD had a long track record of producing lots of content. They tested everything. They went through their content consistently and they put out stuff and put out stuff and put out stuff and they tested and they tested and they tested and then they finally found some stuff that worked. Hundreds of videos of trial and error until they found out how to do it right. I heard a statistic from Patty Galloway that blew my brain in half. MKBHD posted over 100 videos in his first year. And when he looked at his subscriber count, he only reached 74 subscribers. That's it. What? If you had time to post hundreds of videos, there's probably a great chance that you would have over 74 subscribers as long as you were improving them consistently. All three of these guys have many qualities in common, but let's focus on one for a moment. And that is they are obsessed with their craft. They are obsessed in making it as good as it possibly can be. They are willing and eager to improve everything that they know. Whether that is spending some of their free time on a Photoshop course, trying to make the best thumbnails possible, or they're brainstorming lots of strong video ideas. I mean, these guys know what ideas will get attention to millions of people. They're that good. As long as you are hungry and willing to spend the time on your design, your organization, communication, and improving all of your skills, you will have a successful channel one day no doubt. Ludwig is one of the many examples that prove that YouTube is a game that's winnable for the diligent and smart creators out there. Mr. Beast and MKBHD are examples of constant learning and patience. It took them thousands of hours to get to where they are and frankly they deserve what they have. No luck involved. Now let's hear the luck skill ratio that Mr. Beast gave. How much of YouTube you think is luck versus skill? Um, it's 99% skill. You, you, if you knew what you were doing, you could do that 100%. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you got some value out of this video. More coming on the way. But for the moment, YouTube thinks you like this video. Are they right? <laughs>